Proverbs 25. 25, yes. Verse 2, it says, The glory of the Lord, it is the glory of God to conceal things, but the glory of kings is to search things out. What's the meaning of, I don't understand. Okay. It is the glory of God to conceal things, but the glory of kings is to search things out. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is the glory of God to what? To conceal things. But it is the glory of kings to what? <laughs> to search the things out. One of the things you have to now note about kings is that all kings are diligent. Are you there? All kings are what? How do I know? For you to search. For, now, when you hear the word search things out, it means they searched and they found. That's what it means. So for you to search and find, based on what God has taught us, we know we have to be what? Diligent. So, God keeps it to glorify himself. You find it to glorify God in yourself. Are you getting that? God keeps it to what? To glorify himself. You then finds it to glorify God in yourself. So, glorifying God in yourself now becomes your glory. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, oh, go with that, go with that, go go with that. Wait. Wait. What is glory? My glory that has been taken away, that has been hidden. What is glory first? Before you begin to talk about the one that buried it in a shallow grave. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? Do you know what the glory of man is? Eh? The glory of man is in the ability of the man to search out the hidden things of God. That's the glory of man. That's the glory of man. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's the glory of man. That's the glory of man. <laughs> so people are like, what is this? That is the glory of man. The, your ability now to, <laughs> to search out the deep things of God is what? Glory. So I have glory means I can search out the deep, deep things of God. Are you there? Meanwhile, the devil can stop a man from attaining that height. Are you getting what I'm saying? By bringing the man away from what? Huh? Huh? From the presence of God. So because the man is away from God, he is not diligent. Though he is searching. So he will not find. And there will be no glory in his life. It's without glory. Why? He is searching outside of Christ. Look at this. What does it mean to search without being diligent? Searching without being diligent is when you are searching out of the will of God. It's not like you are careless. No. Any form of search you do outside of the will of God for your life is a search without diligence. So searching with diligence now means searching in the will of God for your life. So the glory of man is in the ability of the man to search out the hidden things of God. This is why I say you should ask questions. Everybody must ask questions. Because the more you ask, are you there? The more the Lord begins to 